Metallic pods inbound. We're pulling the plug. We're to take him out of cryo sleep. We're we're getting, get him, get him warm, get him warm and ready for the covenant. If that's a, not a quality intro to a video, I don't know what is. Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to the domain. Today we have, and you already know this, that I have these four cryopods. In a live stream about a month ago, I unboxed these. I was so delighted to find them in Hong Kong. I literally never find Mega Bloks in the wild here. My heart was a little heavy because I was missing the fourth pod. Lo and behold. He's here to stay, baby. I got the fourth one, and it was actually from the same store. When I bought these three, I asked the woman, I said, do you have any more? She said no. I told her to get some more in stock if she could. She had a couple of old ones, just basic metallic drop pods, which I wasn't interested in at the time, but this caught my eye on the bottom shelf. Actually, just when I was walking out of the store, I saw this. I didn't notice it at first, and it's the last one, which completes the set and finally means I can do a review of all four. So let's try and get this open. I remember even on my live stream. These are these are sealed tight. There we go All right, so the metallic drop pods this one in particular holds a very special place in my heart back at blocks fest 2015 mega constructs actually brought this to the event this blue metallic drop pod and it kind of sent everyone wild because it had no backstory nobody knew what it was and it was just sort of chilling at my event. So it was very strange that it was there and even stranger that the pods didn't see the light of day for years after. Like these things took ages to come out and there's the full lineup, wow. Now, the first thing I've got to say is the color choices are very strange, very strange. So we've got two to start off with that kind of makes sense. These two are both silver with silver visored Spartans. The colors match perfectly and I unboxed these first and thought, hey, that makes total sense. And then it gets a little weirder because you have this silver one. This might be the weirdest. This one is also quite strange. These are both odd because they didn't follow the silver pattern. It would make sense to me if there were two silver glass doors and two gold glass doors, but then this orange one, particularly the fact that this is silver, which is the inverted color of the glass doors on these ones, it just makes no sense at all to me. And then we've also got this spot in which, yes, the colors do match, but just so strange that these two have silver visors and this one has a silver body. Very odd to me, but it still looks great. The other thing that is a real shame is that these don't open. These cryo doors don't open, so they are basically pointless. The old cryo bay with the Master Chief, a very iconic Halo 4 set, had an opening cryo door. It was beautiful. We saw it return again in the Forward Unto Dawn on the inside of the cryo bay, but this one, neither. It's got, it's got nothing. It's got a fat load of nothing, but it's still a great little toy. Not much of a display piece either and it doesn't have a Mega Bloks base, so you can't really attach it to anything. But still, I still like this quite a lot. To review, we've got the Spartan Recruit, and then two Spartans here. This is the base Spartan for Halo 5, and then this is the base Spartan for Halo Wars 2, kind of showing you what kind of time this came out in. There were still a lot of fans for Halo 5, still a lot of fans for Halo Wars 2, so it made sense that we had both of those Spartans, particularly this one. This is like absolutely gorgeous. Like this is one of my favorite Spartans, probably my favorite Halo Wars 2 Spartan I've ever unboxed, so that's awesome. But then we've got this. Let's pop him open. Haha, <laughs> I just tricked ya. So this has got a strange sort of yellowy goldy glass over effect. In their actual product listing, they are called metallic cryotubes, so that's definitely what they were going for. Let's dump this out, see what we've got. A nice Spartan. Ooh, did something just shoot off there? Apparently these videos are now notorious for things shooting off into the distance. We've got the Spartan Defender. Quite a strange armor to include. Maybe they just made the mold that year. And it comes with a Hydra Launcher. I particularly really enjoyed the Hydra Launcher. I'm hoping it comes back in Halo Infinite. Halo 6, we'll see. We're gonna notice a classic problem that has riddled a lot of these sets, which is the helmet is made from a soft plastic. So it's actually a different color to the rest of the armor. Armor, which when you don't notice it, you don't notice it, but when you do, you really do. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yeah, guys, it does feel good to be getting back into reviewing Halo Mega Blocks. It has been a long time where I've just been experimenting with lots of different content, and we've also had a bit of a set drought, so it's really great to be back on it. But I have got a really, really big haul video coming very soon, and I've also released two haul videos courtesy of Bam Bam Productions. He got in contact with somebody who sold him stuff directly 
directly from the mega warehouse and it turned out to be two insane hauls. One of them I'm in just interviewing him on Skype and one of them is just a music montage came out only a few days ago and whew, I'm jealous. I am so jealous. But the haul I'm getting quite soon includes some of the stuff from that warehouse haul so I can only be jealous so much. Look at this. Spartan Defender. Not bad, Mega. Not bad. Not bad. A very strange assortment of characters, very strange assortment of colors. But these metallic pods, you know, they served a purpose, which was just a really cheap way to include a figure in sort of an, a unique kind of packaging. And they done drop pods to death. So I definitely respect that they took a different approach. I don't think it's something they'll go back to, but Elite and ODST drop pods were my favorites. The metallic pods were always great, but you know, when the ODST and the Elite ones came out, there were a couple of benefits that set them aside from these ones. The first thing is that the UNS see ODSTs and also Covenant, especially Elite Miners. They're so good for army building and you really want as many as possible. These Spartans, when you buy one, you've bought one. I would never buy multiple of these and obviously cryopods don't really fit into many dioramas. I know a lot of people have had fun making full cryo bays, but they're all so strange when they, they these like metallic colors. Drop pods, I don't imagine they would be metallic in game, but you can at least imagine that they could be. You could imagine that some ODSTs would actually just choose to chrome spray paint them, but cryopods, a little bit more strange. So these serve as just a really cool, unique, one of a kind line, which I don't think will come in the future, but still we get access to some really good Spartans. I've heard many different people saying that their favorites are many different kinds. My favorite is definitely this standout Spartan from Halo Wars 2. He looks exceptional. I love that silver visor. And I think I would have preferred they all had silver visors. It would have made a little more sense to me, but at the end of the day, I do respect that the visors match the glassed over color on each of the cryopods. And although the cryopod doors don't open, they still make a really fun set piece. Like I'll still enjoy displaying these. I just wouldn't use them in a diorama, but you know, not everything is for a diorama. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. I hope you enjoyed what you see. Please do make sure to like this video and let me know in the comments if you've got these sets. And also if you're enjoying these kind of reviews, making a comeback on the channel. Have a great day out there. Stay awesome, stay safe. And all of the Spartans are signing off. See you next time.